Alright guys, today I've got a new video here on my Galaxy Nexus Verizon Edition. So let me uh, just show it to you guys what we got on this thing right now. So we're going to go to About Phone and you can see this is now currently running Android version 4.2.2 and we're on the build number JDQ39. So this is uh, the current version for this device from Verizon. Um, now. I do have uh, root access with, if I can find it, Super Sue right there, and I do have Twerp Recovery installed or Team Win Recovery project. You can also use Clockwork Mod Recovery. And what we're going to do is we're going to update this phone to Android version 4.3, newest version, just got released today. Um, and a developer has already taken the Android open source and created a ROM for the Verizon version of. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus. So that is very, very exciting. Um, I've got a whole bunch of files here. Um, there's four of them. I'm going to give you guys the links to the uh, forum and everything you're going to need. Make sure you read through that very, very carefully. And I got downloaded here. This is a bootloader, so I make sure I'm on the newest bootloader, newest radios. Um, I have the ROM. I have <clears throat> a thing to remove Google Keep and then we'll reinstall it later and then I have another zip to get root permission on the ROM. So I've got a lot here. Um, it's a kind of long process here but we're going to go ahead and get into it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use Goo Manager. This is also how I installed um, Twerp Recovery and I'm going to reboot to recovery and we're going to go ahead and go through this process. Now it's very important anytime you're flashing anything to have good battery life on your device. Um, obviously this thing has an unlock bootloader. You can see that with the unlock symbol right down there at the bottom. So unlock bootloader, custom recovery, root access on your Galaxy, um, Galaxy Nexus. So here we go, team win, recovery project. Um, and this should boot us in there. You can also get into recovery by holding, I think, volume up and down and power from the powered off state and it'll get you in here. So first thing we're going to do is go to wipes and we're just going to go through all the wipes and we're going to wipe cache, go back, wipe Delvic, go back, factory reset, go back, and um, I'm not going to wipe system right this minute. What I'm actually going to do is, see we're back to installs, we're going to install, we're going to go up and we're going to find my Android 4.3 file which is right here and we're going to go ahead and, in, and install this Prime MD04 bootloader and we're going to go ahead and install that okay so that is installed I'm going to do a see we're going to go back and so that should be good um, we're going to go ahead and install the radios so we're going to click the radios right there and we're going to swipe across and install the radios and it's writing the LTE radios, take a few minutes. Um, shouldn't take too long, this is a pretty small file. So we're going to go ahead and get these things installed. Okay, that took a little bit. Radios did finish, so we're actually going to go back. And we're going to go ahead and install the ROM, which is right up here. Um, and it's for Toro, which is the code name for the Galaxy Nexus for Verizon version. It is AOSP, so it's based on Android 4.3. It's the open source Android open source project. So we're going to click on the ROM, and we're going to go ahead and swipe across, and we're going to install the ROM. Um, ROM probably could take up to five minutes to install. When we're done with that, we're going to do two more things. We're going to do one thing that's going to remove Google Keep off of this. I don't think we need to install the Google applications. I think they're included in this because I didn't hear steps about installing them in the directions. So I'm going to assume they're in there. But we're going to remove Google Keep with this Google Keep zip. And then when we're done with that, we're going to flash the last thing, which is to get root access again. So a whole bunch all in one here. You're basically flashing five files to make sure that everything's up to snuff on the radios, the bootloader, the ROM, removing Google Keep and getting root permission again because the uh, ROM does not come pre-rooted or with, with re-root access. So let's let this finish and we'll keep going. Okay, there we go. We uh, finished up with the ROM install, so we're going to go back. Now we're going to find the Google Keep Fix. And we're going to go ahead and swipe that across. That's done. And then the last thing we're doing is going to find the Super Sue Zip. And this is going to give us root access again and it shouldn't take too long to run either and it's done 
So there you go, you flashed your five files and everything should be good at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and do reboot system and the device is going to reboot here. Um, now I'm running, I don't know if you guys saw it, it's an older uh, Twerp recovery or Team One recovery project, but it shouldn't be an issue. Um, or you could be running a newer one, either one, it really doesn't matter. If it does come up at the end when it says reboot to fix um, root permission, go ahead and click no. Um, don't fix it because it messes up that super sue zip we just flashed at the end there. So here you go, stock uh, Nexus boot animation. I'm going to let this boot up. I'm going to run through a little bit of install. I'm going to show you guys the ROM and show you we'll be running 4.3 Jelly Bean newest OTA that got released today. Okay, here we go guys. We have fully booted up. Um, I've gone ahead and gone through my setup and uh, let me show you guys the device. So right here, we'll go into settings and um, we'll go to about phone. There we go. Android 4.3. That's the one right there. Very cool. Jelly bean. So um, everything installed good, everything's good to go on it. Now you do see I don't have a y, uh, cell signal here, but just because this doesn't have a SIM in it, everything else is working great. Uh, this device just doesn't have a SIM in here. And you see, let's see if a super user is working. It should be. Um, no thanks. Yeah, everything, everything looks good there. Um, you should have root access, uh, like I said, by flashing that super user uh, zip. And if you want Google Keep, just go ahead and re-download it from Google Play, and you will have that back as well. Um, so there it is. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and look at settings really quick um, and see what we have in here. So you don't have developer options enabled. If you want them, just go to the build number and just keep tapping on it. And right there, they'll be enabled. You can also see you're on the new build number down there. Um, and now you have developer settings and you can turn on USB debugging right there, which I like to have on. And there it is. Those, so most of your settings look uh, pretty standard through here. Um, nothing too new. Android Beam, NFC. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, let's see what else we got here. Camera. Seems to work okay. Let's see, and this is the new style camera. You can see the little buttons down there. Um, so you do have the new style camera in here, which is very nice. Uh, let's see what else we have. Pretty standard looking stuff. Um, nothing too new, I don't think. Yeah, it's pretty standard. But there you go. That is it. You have root access. You have Android 4.3 and all of its buttery goodness and uh, smooth actions and all that good stuff. And there it is. So that is how you do it. Hope you guys liked this video on installing 4.3 on the Galaxy Nexus Verizon version. As always, please check me out up here by my thumb at arootjunkie.com. Follow my Facebook and Twitter over there and there. And I will put links in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.